After work one night, we went to the masquerade to watch an AMREP showcase, which was the label of Kristen's former band, Janitor Joe. We got drunk at the show, and Kristen and I made out in the club. Was this our Fleetwood Mac period? Courtney and Eric had been a thing long before Kurt or I ever came along. Eric and Kristen had moved in together very soon after meeting and were now in the midst of negotiating their breakup. I don't think anyone saw us then or afterward in the car ride home while Eric drove with Courtney in the front seat. We didn't go to third base or anything, but there was heavy petting, hands on legs, hands up legs. As far as I could tell, Kristen was still straight, but I also knew she dated at least one woman in college. I knew her ex-girlfriend, Jenny Olson. Kristen was well-read and lesbian lit, for instance. She knew her Leslie Feinberg. It was great to be able to talk with someone who also loved the novel Stone Butch Blues, the story of a transgender identity crisis. Kristen was one of those people who made you feel smarter by association. She'd already lived nine lives before joining Hole. She was actually from Buffalo, had quite possibly been married before, and had told me she already experimented with dope and kicked it. We connected on many levels, besides the physical attraction and the way we played music together. We had heroin in common, too, but it hadn't taken her long to figure out the code of silence and privacy that needed to surround a habit.